Hello everybody, Fixer here, and welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Before we go out uh, on the night in the town, um, Gabino in the comments suggested that perhaps if I have a bottle, maybe I ought to... Can, can I... Hold on. Okay. Maybe I ought to use it in the water fountain, and that was a good idea. I'm gonna give it a shot. Use water bottle. I can't put it in there. Um, I think that's about it. Well, never mind then. And I know that I gotta put the finger or the fingerprint book. In fact, I guess it's I could. An empty soda bottle. Thank you. Five cent deposit in Michigan, Hawaii, California, Arkansas. Okay, good. She didn't go all the way through that. And I know I gotta put the fingerprint book. This has fingerprints in for here. everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Oh, there's nothing I could do with it yet. What the shit? Why is he standing there? And why can I not click on him? That's creepy as hell. Okay, I'm out of there. Alright, let's get a move on, girl. Uh, use. I think, I feel like Dora should be able to be double clicked. Um, alright, let's talk to the, the Pigeon Brothers, I suppose. Oh, what are you guys doing? No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. All right. I would. This is A Street. Hilarious. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Indeed. All right, well. Can I steal their shit? Uh, let's pick up. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Uh huh. My notebook is done. Although it doesn't appear to be. Oh, it added this. Pigeons need a WC67 too. All right. Find ID for the victim in the hotel. All right, so that's blocking off our way down A Street, but we got lots of other places to go, I'm sure. I didn't mean to click on that. Um, oh, I gotta get my, I, I gotta do this with two it hands. Says, I keep forgetting. After 34 years of serving the Tri Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead end path. Tubes. Are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. Anything else exciting here? Just the sign. Okay. Safely first savings. It says we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Um, I guess that's a, a reference to Monkey Island then, to El Polo Diablo. Can I, um, uh, open? The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. Fair enough. Fancy Nancy Flowers. Was there something moving over here? Okay. Look at it. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. Hold on a second. All right, I didn't notice this before, but if you hover over an object, the options that you can use on it highlight. Is that is that a thing? It is. How did I not notice that before? S and D Diner. What does S and D stand for? I don't know. Hello, people. Are you crazy? Sandy. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? Thanks for letting me know about that. Uh, what's up with the sheriff? Yes. What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird of Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. Okay. 
The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. Um... How does speech prove they are not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. Damn straight. I've said too much already. Um... I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. So there's our S and D then. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. God. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Oh! Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Nice. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. I got a to-do list. Put on my clown nose, get my beeping joke book bag, get my clown fro looking beeping great, apply my beeping awesome clown makeup, go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. P.S. My life is amazing and beep you for being jealous. That's fantastic. All right, um... My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. <laughs> ah, that's fantastic. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the Clown. Calling it right now, he's just a red herring. Fuss it. My housekeeper what? does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. This, this building is moving. I thought it... I thought I noticed it moved the first time, but I thought maybe I was crazy, so I didn't mention it. But it definitely moved that time. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan Ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. Alright, so I need to get that back. What the hell is this? The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of trophies I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. Hmm. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of trophies. Yeah, I we don't have. need to hear it twice. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. State of the art Zaptron 3000. Is the is the trailer moving more and more to the left as I further get to the left of the trailer? My fridge. <laughs> Look how clean my assistant keeps it. Um. Can I open it? Nice. Can I open this? Fantastic. Oh, there's a card here. It's my lawyer's business card. It's my lawyer's business card. All right. Oh, Brent so Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Um, how about use? Where is use at? The faucet. Oh, never mind. It only says look up anyway. It is. The trailer is, is literally moving. <laughs> What the hell? This place is jank. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. I can't open that. Use it. That doesn't seem to work. Pull it. Oh, okay, so I was wrong. The highlighted words are not all of my options. Because pull isn't wasn't highlighted on the clown and I was able to pull the, the nose. Bam. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. All right, so that's that's definitely good to know. Can I pick up the trophies? I glued them to the table so no one can steal them. <laughs> of course he did. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. Ooh, look at the mirror. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. 
So who's he going on to? Okay, I got my clown nose. Yeah. If if this place was closed down a long time ago. Anything else here? I'm gonna leave those things open, I suppose. I think we're. I think we're all set to leave. All right, let's uh, open the door. Ransom, oh. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, fifty then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. <laughs> Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You. God. <laughs> All right, so there's my trailer. Why was my, my trailer is on four wheels? We got proper weight distribution here. I don't know why my trailer was rocking when I was walking on it. Seems kind of weird. Uh, I can't go there. Where can I go? Well, can I go down over this way? I can. But there's nothing over there. Nothing? Just my trailer. So let's go to the left then. Oh, how exciting. Oh, my God. You. <laughs> this guy. Um. Oh, push him. Hello. Oh, I, I literally did push him. <laughs> Grandson, you idiot. Why did you push me? Oh. Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I can't get up. <laughs> get you, Grandson the Clown. I can't get up. This I'll is... steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. Who are these I'll people? I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. I think my steels are broken. I'll get you, Ransom the Clown. I'll steal your clown is, nose is again. Is he just going to keep I'll going do. like that? So I think my steels are broken. And the old classic you, point and the clicks. Ransom, this was pretty broken. common. Oh my God! Shut I up. I'm going to get off the screen real quick. I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. Thank you. So it was pretty common for characters to to end up in a loop where they just keep on saying something like that. Or you saw it earlier where the two pigeon brothers were making these weird sounds at each other and they just keep on going and going and going, sometimes for the remainder of the game. And that, and that works fine when there's no voiceover, but when there's a voiceover, I'm not so sure it works very well. Um, I guess let's go to the big top. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. Oh, fine. Uh... It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Hey, it's not my job to push popcorn stands around. <laughs> Against clown union rules. Okay. Um... Let's go this way. Step right this way. Oh, this is the jerk. This is the jerk that I owe money to. Should I even talk? Hello. Ish. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? <laughs> One thousand clams and you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. Uh, did I lose that money playing this game? Um... So, uh... How's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 13 kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. Cool. That means I did my How job. How many kids do you say you have? I have 13 kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. That's interesting that I get keep... So this tells me that it's probably part of a solution somewhere else. Otherwise, it wouldn't give me the option to, to ask him. So there's a solution, a puzzle down the line, that's going to be, you know, the answer is going to be 13. And I'm going to be like, oh, that's how many kids this guy has. How many does, does, it, does he have? And you come back here, how many kids did you say you have? So that tells me that's probably part of a solution. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus... $138 in interest. 
Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 <laughs> bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting the squeeze on me. Not my problem. Um. Give me my joke for face. <laughs> I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. He's I pretty don't know foul. It's in the ass wipe clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. Okay, I'm out of here. You, I'm out of here. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, that's the circus grounds. Anything else no I can interact? Take a shot. I'll take a shot. Uh oh, I can't go anywhere else. Um, can I win big today? Push him? No. Can I? What else can I do? Win. Go see Carnage Joe about getting my joke hook back. Yeah, now it changed to $1,138. Alright, well. Backstage. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Let's go in there. Hello! A swear jar. So, what do we got in there? Look. It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. Well, my contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to. Pay up! Hilarious. Ooh, nice crowd tonight. I'm at the top of my game. I'm gonna give them the insults of their lives and they'll love me for it. Idiots. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. Well, that's a Monkey Island reference. And, um, in Monkey Island, the first one, you get into a cannon and shoot yourself, basically. Because there's a circus in Monkey Island. So, same thing. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. There's a second clown, eh? This goop keeps my clown fro erect. <laughs> I can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. It's my special custom-made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Let's put it sure on now. Wish there were a more permanent variety. <laughs> God. Now there's the face I love. Oh boy, can I look at the screen? There we go. That, oh my god. Pretty hideous. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. <laughs> yes, yes it does. Can I, can I use, no, I want to use the hat. I don't wear hats. Okay, fair enough. No, look at me. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. All right, well... My to-do list should be getting lots of check marks. Go on stage, get a. So I need a thousand dollars. That's my. That's all I have left to do. Now where am I going to get that? Do I gotta rob somebody? Ransom, you jerk! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown. I think I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. I'll get you. Ransom all right, let's the head clown. back to the trailer. Maybe there is a place over here I can go? I don't know. Let's check the trailer again. Can I not go in here? Uh, open. Thank you. So, oh, you know what? I wonder if, if there's money in my trophies. Um, open. I can't open that. Um, use that trophies? That doesn't seem to work. There's got to be money hidden somewhere, right? Open the clown doll. I can't open that. And it's interesting that I have an option with my bed, right? No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. Why can I interact with my bed? What? You think this is Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> I tried to open the mirror. There's a secret here. I know it. What else do I have? Hair gel and makeup. What would those possibly be? Why do I get to keep those after I use them? There's got to be a solution, right? Hair gel... ...and makeup. I have no idea. I got my lawyer's card. I don't know. Open. 
And I can't go that way. I can't go in here. I can't go in there. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go. Hmm. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of trophies I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. That's a code. <gasps> That's a code. That's a... Hmm. The number of butt cheeks I have. Two. The number of trophies I have. Two. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Thirteen. <laughs> and... See, there's, there's my memory for you. I'm sitting there like, oh, that's a solution to a puzzle, and I already had this here. So there is a safe somewhere, right? There's there's a safe... There, it's got to be in my trailer. It's got to be. See, two trophies. Two, two, thirteen. If, if anything, walk to Lumpy Poster. How about we pull the poster? It came off the Aha! wall. Aha! All right, open safe. Let's see if I can remember this combination. We got it. Turn left two. Okay, now. Right two. Left and 13. Finally. Time. I wonder. Ah, next I, time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. I wonder if that, the number of kids he has changes on per playthrough. That's, that's something that old school classic um that's redundant classic adventure games um kind of did they would change solutions to puzzles every time you loaded it up so you couldn't cheat so if your friend played the same game and you're stuck you're like i can't figure out the code for this your friend couldn't tell you the code because your code would be different and sometimes um that's also used in um it, that was like an old school drm at the beginning of the game it would say something like well what's the eighth word on the twelfth page of the manual. Things like that. Old school stuff. Money! Pick up money. It's exactly a thousand dollars in unmarked bills. Cool. So I got this. It's already closed. I didn't try to close it, did I? I guess I did. Alright, so we've got... I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do! <laughs> Alright, pick it up. I'll just take the big bucks. It's exactly eleven hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Oh, I don't want to go there yet. Let's go to this jerk face. All right. Step right this way. Give money to jerk face. Oh, so you decided to pay up? Just give me my book. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now, where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. <laughs> now, scram, Clowny. You're scaring the customers. There are literally no yeah, customers. Take a shot at the top. Scram, Clowny. You're scaring the customers. Screw you. All right. I can't go... I guess I go backstage first. Oh, wait a minute. I got the poster on me and my joke book. Hold on. I want to look at these things. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. Why do I get to keep the poster? That's awfully weird. It's my joke book. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the jokes. <laughs> it's my joke book. Okay. No spoilers here. Hello. Oh, faces. look at who it is. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. All right. So these two, this is um, Dr. Fred and this is Edna. These are from Maniac Mansion. They were the the bad guys. Um, they they were they were being used by a meteor. But yes, they were the bad guys. Anybody else here? Is this supposed to be Waldo? I'm guessing that's Waldo. I don't know. Waldo's got glasses, so maybe not. Who else? Where's Pigeon? I don't recognize anybody else. I don't know that guy in the wheelchair. There's a pizza dude. There's Guybrush right there. There's Guybrush Threepwood. Hilarious. There's got to be others in here that I'm just not recognizing. Is that the corner? Um, who's that? That guy looks familiar. No one else rings a bell. I'm sure they probably... I'm sure there's probably somebody in here that I'm not recognizing. Who the hell is that? That's got to be somebody right back there. Oh my god, the tentacle is here! <laughs> so this is... Well, it, this is a tentacle from um, Day of the Tentacle. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't recognize anybody else, but I'm sure there's got to be others. Alright, so, nothing to interact with. We got jokes. Um... You <laughs> all a bunch of inbred freaks. As full of snobs, you're obsessed with this Chuck guy. You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Blink twice, you want me to get help? <laughs> you guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris is the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. Okay. Hey, you lady with a huge nose. Which one's, is this, is that her? Why did they stop moving? That was kind of creepy. Hey, dude with a stupid mustache. All right, so that's him. The, oh, let's go with the crappy wheelchair. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Oh, he's crying. That's awful. Old lady with a hairy mole. I don't see her. Dude with a stupid mustache. I want to see who the guy with the mustache is. Hey, you. Dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? <laughs> a 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Um, ugly shirt. Which one is the ugly shirt? Kid with the ugly shirt. I'm guessing the the red one here, maybe? Let's go, let's guess the red guy. Hey you, kid with the ugly shirt. It is. Are you colorblind? Or is it the green Your guy? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a Oh, it's clown, Waldo. And even I wouldn't touch something that garish. All right, so something is strange about this now. Um, the only people I'm insulting are the ones along this line. Who's this person? They look very different. So there's got to be a reason for it, right? Is that the sheriff? I think that's the sheriff. There's got to be a reason that him, him, her, and him are the ones I'm insulting. So who's the hairy mole one, actually? Because I think the this has got to be the big nose, right? Who's the hairy mole? Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole! Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket! Because if it's big enough to ride the uh -oh. roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. <laughs> Ooh. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. Is that supposed to be like the he voodoo lady? for another two hours insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laugh because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home! <laughs> now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen! Yeah! Uh oh. What the? <laughs> is that what my faucet is for? This makeup isn't coming off. The <laughs> Look at him go. That's hilarious. Yeah, old lady. <laughs> you up the you. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena. Mistress of the Dark Arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady. So that's why he's stuck here all by himself afterwards. Uh oh. Ransom, <laughs> I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little? Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you. Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. I was just about to say, why didn't he end with go beep yourself? <laughs> oh, this poor guy. 
And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. Who do you murder? An interesting story. You think he murdered we'll the guy under the him. bridge? I just got an achievement for beep hole. Hilarious. Okay, cool. Well, I think that about does it for this episode. I didn't get to see too much of the town, but we got to see all of the circus, so that's pretty cool. I want to see my notebook. Go talk to Ransom the Clown. Pigeons need yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.